Right. So, this is the last day in Gran Canaria, my holiday. Um, instead of sitting on by the pool drinking, I thought I would drive the GC200 again, and this time try and go the right direction. Not go down that new bypass. In stage 14 of the Retrolab's Aventura de Gran Canaria, I attempt to drive the GC200 for the third time, driving it in both directions, then stopping at the Mirador and in Verde, but things didn't go quite to plan. Again. This is the Retrolab's Aventura de Gran Canaria. Got no Yaris to show me the way this time, eh? Here to keep an eye out for turning to the left. Oy, 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 oy. Wrong gear. Yeah, so that's the new road down there. So that means the turning should be fairly soon, I think. If I remember correctly. So I definitely recommend coming to Gran Canaria to go driving, if you like driving. The roads have been amazing, really challenging, and really, really bendy. And some of them pretty narrow and steep, but awesome. there, the cloud atop the mountain. Yeah, the surface quality isn't too great on this one, but I do like it a lot. Very, very twisty. No hairpins though, so that's good. Well, I said there probably will be a few. Well, there are a few actually, because there's one that caught me out, wasn't there? But this bit, there's no hairpins anyway. So anyway, what we're doing is we're driving it north, and we're going around the roundabout where I've been starting and stopping to film, and then we're coming straight back again. Here is the turning, GC200. Go, go, go! Well, it says it's a dead end. Let's hope not. See, so we need to make sure we don't go the wrong way coming back as well, like we did the first time. So 
So I wanted to drive this because it basically crests over the peak of the mountain. So we're driving on like the east side of it for a bit and then we go over the top and onto the west side. And it looked really good on Google Earth. So let's hope we can make it the whole way. Should be nice and quiet if they bypassed it. There's a sign saying it's a dead end, you won't get any tourists coming down here. And the locals will just use the bypass, so that should be good. over there. Windy. So it won't blow my cameras off. The uh, Mirador and Verdi. In point two miles, arrive at zero eight Mirador de Ande. Like it is closed. Arrived oh, it is closed. Lame. Oh, I'll just, just enjoy this view then. Very disappointing, Grand Canarian government. All right, never mind. That was eight minutes and five seconds of fun. The Andan Verdi El Balcon viewpoint is located on the southern edge of the Tamadaba National Park and, geologically speaking, is the ancient part of Grand Canaria, a volcanic island that emerged from the sea around 15 million years ago. Around us, numerous species of indigenous vegetation can be found, such as the Cardone's cacti and the Tabeba bushes, and along the cliffs, birds such as the Pardelas and Petrels often build their nests in the cliffs. Here we can see Tenerife again. I gave stage 14 of the Retrolabs Aventura de Gran Canaria a score of 71 points. This score put stage 14 into 4th place on the Adventure Leaderboard. But this score is not enough to put stage 14 onto our overall leaderboard, missing out by only half a point. Can the final stage of the adventure make it onto the board? Subscribe to find out! Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please click the like button and subscribe so you don't miss another episode of the Retro Labs Aventura de Gran Canaria.